What's up guys, Court Order here. If you didn't see last week's video, you guys missed a really good one. Go back and watch it. We are on an incredible 1760s colonial house and finding some absolutely amazing things. Offhand, I remember there was a complete Tomback Conestoga Bell in almost perfect condition. Some crazy cool buttons. There was a USX United States delivery button, goes all the way back to the Civil War. I got a Long Neck Eagle War of 1812 naval button. Rich got an absolutely unbelievable 1840 William Henry Harrison log cabin campaign button. And if you like coins, my favorite matron, the 1822 with the beautiful serif 22 font. And then of course, our country's oldest authorized coin, 1783 Nova Constellatio. You gotta be kidding, that thing was amazing. So this week we're gonna pick right up where we left off. More coins, more buttons, more relics, more fun. I hope you guys enjoy part two of this incredible house and I will see you at the end. Later. Dustin's recording here, so it must be something good. How deep was it too, Dustin? Oh yeah. Right there. Oh, it's nice and black. It looks like a Washington. Can you plug it? Yeah, let's see what we get. Yeah, Washington. Keep an eye on that machine. There's a silver machine. 40. Another corner. 44? Yeah, 48. 48. Wow, we've been here 10 I seconds. Just balance the machine. There's Dustin's quarter. You do have really nice detail on that, Dustin. Yeah. That's beautiful. Some nice toning on the back. Almost mad I rubbed it. <laughs> and uh, 1948. Literally the first dig of the day and maybe seven seconds after you <laughs> turned your machine on. After I turned it on. That's going to be a good sign. Well, hey, good job, man. It's going to be a heck Thank of a you. good day. I'm going to go fire my machine up. And we're going to find some good stuff today, Lynn. Hope so. Oh, it has something. I heard Lynn oohing and on. Oh, it's a tiny little buckle. Look at that one. Let me come around here to the sun. Yeah. Some sort of a garter buckle, I think. Or it looks. Spectacle? Well, let's see what it looks like. I only think. What? Oh, wait. This. That this looks swivels. much older than I originally thought, Rich. Well, that's why I saved it because it, the shape, just the shape of it, I thought it was older than the regular buckles that we. Yeah, that piece on the back is very unique. And look at the design. There is a design or something on the rim. I'm having a hard time seeing the design, but maybe when I look at it on the bigger screen, I will. Yeah. I've never seen one with that extra hinge on there that would swivel that large across the uh, the buckle like that. Yeah. It's very cool though. Yeah. Hey, huh. great find, man. Thanks. All right, it's been a free for all. I mean, uh, I'm just running around. Guys, uh, detectors are going off. It's been a lot of uh, memorial pennies and square nails so far. Dustin got the first good find with the silver quarter and now got this dainty little suspender clip. There could be writing on this too, Dustin. Right up on here on this top part. It looks like the kind that would have something on there. You want to give it a, yeah, you want to hit a brush and we'll take a look at it. There are buildings and outbuildings and carriage houses. There's three or four houses behind me. The big farmhouse to the left that goes back to, I think they said 1763. I don't see anything on it. No. Not even schoolwork, but. No, but it is a nice old suspender buckle, probably at least 1800s, I think. Yeah. Well, hey, good find, man. I'm gonna get my machine. I wanna find some stuff too. Well done, brother. All right, I called Doug over. I'm doing near this little uh, root cellar. Dustin was on the other side. I got a spill in this hole, Doug, about three inches deep, but a spill I've never gotten before. So I figured I would call you over and take a look at it. I put it back in the hole. Wait till you see this. This was coming up like a 33, 34, two coins in my hand. Both of them were good. No, no. A buffalo nickel and a war nickel oh, wow. in the same hole. I flipped the plug over. That's both of them awesome. came flying out just like that. I didn't even look at either one of them yet. Have you, have you checked it for other signals? No, not yet, no. but this had to have been it because it wasn't, a 30 something is not well, quite a coin. Well, looked in that bad a shape. The buffalo. Hey, this is usual. Can you see if there's a date on that, Doug? Yeah, you're, you're giving it to. Uh, <laughs> and here's the war nickel, 42, 1942. 
The war nickels, which are the only nickels that ever had silver in them, obviously, 35%. Doug. 35%. They started halfway through 1942 and went through 1945. And the way you can tell is they'll have that extra large mint mark and above the Monticello. Like from here. Yep, it's a P. But in 1942, the beginning of the year, they were nickel. Right. Then halfway through 1942, they switched and made them in silver. So when you get a 42, if there's a, the P mint mark on the back, it's silver. If there's no P, it's nickel. So just an interesting way to tell if yeah. you're 42. Yeah. And, and besides, you can just tell by looking at it. Look how nice it comes out for an old nickel compared to the buffalo that just looks like a clad coin. That is so cool. Yeah, I've never gotten wow. a spill of both at the same time before. That's so yeah. That isn't Pam Anderson on her knee. What's wrong with you? He's a sicko. He's a <laughs> sicko. Was, I know. Can you believe him? I can't it. believe I yes. take him with me. I thought he it was a camel. He said it was. <laughs> yes. But no, that's an awesome find. I love it. No date on the buff though. Uh, Rich got another piece of suspender clip. Oh, ooh, that's a nice one. Not that, not that Dustin's wasn't nice, <laughs> but that I love Victorian stuff like that, Lynn. Yeah, that's got some uh, fancy. That's one. beautiful. And that Dustin, cloth. oh yeah, look, there's some of the cloth holding yeah. in there. I thought it Is was it a down? metal at first, like a yeah, it, look, it almost metal, looks like one. But... Yep, not just a piece of the old fabric. That's great. I got four modern dimes so far, but that means there's a lot of stuff around this place was never hit before. And uh, we're going to head to the front where the original root cellar was. It's going to be a good day. We're taking all my so. bones. Good job. Thank you. All right, dog tag duck. He's got something. Lynn, I just pulled that piece of junk. Can you hold that for a second? It's a button or a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's too, it's too big to be a coin. Yeah, it's large. I don't know what it is. I hope it's even a button for your sake, Doug. It could be a, something else. Give it a brush down and we're going to come back and take a good look at it. Hold on. All right, there's Doug. He's fine. And it is a button. Look at that. Shank on the back, bent over. Bent. It's tacoed somewhat. It's got some incredible markings, Doug, going around the outside. And we looked really hard under for the loop GW. for a GW yeah, because there's there. so many different designs and it yeah. certainly could be you know the house has the age but I think it's just I don't even want to say plain because it's very intricately marked up and yeah, detailed yeah. and there does seem to be something in the middle but it's it's not lettering yeah it's corroded over and it was about 10 inches down so I've, I kind of figured it was yeah I worked for it yep you but, sure did well hey good job man I'm proud of you all right, Dustin just got himself a really good find. You're actually being framed in it right now. It's a shoe buckle. And it is a nice one too. It's misshapen, but you can see the hole on this side. And when I spin it, the hole on that side, there would have been a bar that went across the middle, which would have had the two teeth, the, 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 the shape they call it. I call it the, the teeth, yep. And what an amazing piece. It would have come up here on the top of your shoe and obviously you would have had two of them unless you only had one foot <laughs> then you'd only need one <laughs> but no that's an incredible piece man we've got a couple of old colonial items and this is a small size it's too big for a knee buckle but it's uh it's it's a little small for a shoe buckle but that's definitely what it is and it's awesome period fine there you can even see the bump out right there because you had to make room for that pin to go all the way across it Wow, that was a nice one, man. Congratulations. Definitely an awesome find there. All right, Rich has something else cool. It's, where, where is it? He does, I'm telling you. It's, it's youth, Doug. In the 40s. Let's see. The 40s on my machine is a button or a penny. And that's definitely a button or a penny. There's gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe it's a gold penny. It could be. It could be. They were only made Let's for see. Minutes. I wonder if they ever, uh, anyone ever got a penny and turned it into a button. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Up, oh, nope, that's no penny. Yeah. Nice. Oh, look at all that gilt coming out. Oh, it's a design. Is it a design? It's not yeah, just writing? A gilt design. Oh, well, that's uh, the manufacturer. No, it's, that's a design. A design. Like curls and waves. Really? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, he's yeah. not kidding. 
like he'd be joking. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> yeah, look at that. Well, wow, yeah, very rarely do you see a decorative backside. <laughs> <laughs> on a button, on a button. Okay. And there's gilt on the front too, Rich. It's one of the few buttons where the back is just 10 times better than the front. Yeah. That's a beautiful nice. piece, man. Awesome. Can I see your, uh... And that flat button design is probably oh, yeah. Civil War or around that period. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, I just got a button that's very similar to Rich's gold button. It came up on my machine similar to a nickel but I can see some gold creeping through. They look same size. Oh, yeah. yeah, almost exact same size. You can see some of the gold coming out, might have the same design. And mine on the front. Yours is thicker, I think. I know, I don't, I don't want to brag. <laughs> oh wait, what are you talking about? No, I'm gonna brush it down and see if I have some of the design that Rich has. It looks like mine might be flaking a little bit more, but we might've got two from the same jacket. Rich, how wow. cool is that? Really cool. Only about maybe 30 Amazing. feet apart. All right, Lynn and I are walking over to Rich because he's got another good target. Rich finds the tiniest things. I'm gonna guess it's something small. Probably. Yeah, he's the master of the tiny finds. Oh, and Rich got a nice haircut too. He looks very dapper. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I see just the edge there. That's gonna be a silver dime. Still in the clump. Yep. And it looks like it might be a mercury dime. I can't tell. So. All right, let's take a look. He's got his quarter, 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 quarter. Oh, he's got the quarter. Oh, I got to give him another one. My wife bought me a hundred bottles uh, this week. Wow. Yeah, yeah so your face is fading on that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is it a Merc? Yep. Nice. Good detail. Nice shape, yeah. <laughs> All right, Rich sprayed oh, down his wow. Merc. It looks like it's 1944. Yep. And great detail on Mercury's wings up on her ears. Such a beautiful coin, one of the best looking dimes of the uh, the last 200 years or so. What? No mint mark on this one, but <laughs> hey, from the house it goes back to 1760, all three silver coins are all from the 40s so far. So let's see if we can get something 100 years older, but it's an awesome spot, awesome find. It's gotta be virgin ground to find this many signals already. Well done, brother. Thank you. All right, no shortage of coins around. Rich, I've got about seven modern dimes and i think four or five modern quarters we're hoping for a few older things and rich this is whatever this is oh you know what it is a button i can see i can see the shank right there oh wow that's a big dandy button that's, dandy. <laughs> that's potential gw size oh i see the shank yep yep right in the middle all right go ahead rich oh my goodness Wow. Look at that beauty. Let's hope for something on the other side. Oh, I hit it. Yep, it looks like oh, I see a scratch. You did. Well, then hopefully it's not a... <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope the next one is. Oh, yeah. it's just plain, I, is I believe. It, it almost looks... What nice color way. is it? Yeah. It almost it's, looks like it's like a reddish to me, but I saw, yeah, I thought it was it's coppery, sort of goldy, he, coppery. Where he hit it, it's but sort of copper. Almost half dollar size, dandy button. Um, yeah, I don't see anything on the side. Maybe just plain, and maybe a little love kiss there. It's a great piece, though. All right, Doug said he's got something good. I'm always rooting for Doug. Me and Doug have not had the best day. Doug's been yeah, struggling the worst. Pick, you're picking it up. Yeah, I said you had the worst. <laughs> well, that's why I'm rooting for you. What did you get? I think it's a ring. Um, oh, it might be a ring. A, co like a, a copper ring? Wedding band from way back when. Well, it's definitely tiny. You find a lot of copper rings. That's a, mm -hmm. that, yeah. You know, we always say Rich always finds those metal pieces of a salt shaker, you know, the, with the jagged edge. He yeah. finds one every week. Yeah, yeah you got one today. It's such a... Yeah. Doug, he must have 14 of them. All right, let's clean up Doug's ring. We're going to go look at it. Seven inch. All right, there's Doug's ring. It is so tight. Look, that's my pinky, Doug, which, as you know, is the smallest <laughs> finger on the hand. Yeah, that's a good deal. Even on my smallest finger, You're Doug. Right. You're such a man. The pinky. Yeah. Can you pull that off? That's as far down as it'll go. Pull it off. Yeah, if you don't mind, and put it in my uh, in my uh, in the palm. All right, I'll give it to. Okay, Lynn. Lynn's got. Oh, look at that! Wow, my pinky is that much bigger than yours, Lynn. I guess. Wow. 
But no, that is uh, Doug's fine. Not not the gold one. <laughs> yeah, we better the, not. Yeah. I don't want to confuse that ring with this <laughs> ring. Yeah. But no, it's a nice find, Doug. Yeah. I know sure. today Dustin and uh, Rich are kicking our butts. I'm going to have a killer after. We're going to go back to the car. Lynn you baked are. something. We're going to get a bite. We're going to get something to drink. We're going to come back out, and then it's going to reverse. And they'll sit in the car and just I'm watch us. Rich home. Yep. It's going to be the Jason and Doug show. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good find, Dougie. Oh, yeah. All right, we're moving to this part of the yard. Doug, this is the part I was the most excited about. This area right here, which looks like the most natural part of the yard, that I think we're going to find some really good stuff. Dustin got out here first, and he got something good. I'm guessing, because he called me over. I hope he didn't call me for something bad. Oh, it looks like a copper coin. Is it an Indian? Yes, it is. Oh, let me see. Wow, look at the color on that. No fertilizer, so it's going to be in good condition. Yeah, it should be. And what number did it come up? 1920. Yeah, I see the headdress oh, on yes. it. I can almost see it. I see it looks like 188. So let's have Dustin clean this up and we're going to try to get a year off that sucker. It looks like it's going to be in nice shape. All right, there's Dustin's Indian. It did come out really nice, Dustin. It's hard to see in the camera, but it's 1888. And the condition is amazing. Like when you give it a good clean later, I think I can even see the word Liberty on the headdress. So you know it was dropped real early in its life. And the soil here is moist. So that's why there's some corrosion on the back. But once you get that off, I think you're gonna be really happy with the condition of this coin. That's the uh, great fine man, oldest coin of the day so far. And I think we might hit stuff 100 years older than this. Fingers crossed. Great fine. All right, I called Doug over. I got something good, Doug, near this big old dead tree. Well, it's not totally dead. Oh, well, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's dead. But right, listen to this one, Doug. Now, I already dug it. 55. It's not coming in real clear now because I'm over with this hump here. Yeah. It was like a 53, 54 before I dug it. And I put it underneath of this little limb to keep it moist. I think it's going to be a token, Doug. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little bigger than a quarter, and I think it's going to be brass or copper. I see an eagle. I see an eagle on it. Do you see it? Yeah. Let me orient yeah. it. Right there. Right there. Let me try to get it in the sun. Right there. Yes. It almost looks like money, Doug, like a coin. It does. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's a sack of Jawaya dollar. <laughs> oh. Son of a gun. It's not even oh, old. It sacks. <laughs> from 2000 <laughs> oh man i saw like uh, what looked like oh gee yeah. whiz it's old calls me over well it's old. I got well i'm not here. used to seeing secondary dollars so i saw like 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 it part of the wing and i was good. like whoa this is going to be good and an eagle oh well man, that sucks. <laughs> all right rich got himself a pewter oh look at that yeah. i heard you got a pewter spoon that is massive I got a little pewter spoon handle earlier. I, I brought it out in case it was a match for yours, but obviously. Actually. Oh, maybe. It would be really yeah. small if it was. There's a midsection missing, probably. Yeah, I wonder if it is all together. Now, mine was about but, 70 feet from here. Look, look at the uh, size of that bowl. The most exciting thing, though. Ooh, you got like a little clamshell design on it. Yeah. That's early, too, Rich. That's probably 1700s. Lynn, do you have any spoons in your antique collection? Yeah, I don't have any of that design on the back. You have pewter spoons? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look how it was attached. You can see, not only is it ornate, but that's how the handle was attached to it. I wonder if they heat it up and those lines are just them pushing down, you know, to attach the two pieces together. That's great. I do love that pattern, whether it was intentional or not. That's great, man. Hey, we're finding some old stuff mixed yeah. in with the modern stuff. Dougie's in the woods. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm hoping he's just finding some good stuff over there. Some shade and joy. Maybe he's got to go, you know, go to the bathroom. Well done. <laughs> Maybe I won't join Too long. <laughs> All right, I got another one here, Lynn. Uh, this was hitting a 4647, which is what a clad dime brings up. And together, Doug and I have like 16 clad dimes in a day. So I went down having low expectations. And when I finally got it out, it even looked like a dime until I felt the shank on the back. Yep. It's gonna be flat an, another flat button, yeah, yep. Flat button. Doug, I think we, we're closing in on like 15, 16 buttons on the day. 
you know, as a group, and, none of us individually. And look at that, another with the shank. Yep. We, we've yep. been really fortunate with the shanks. And I thought it was going to be a dime. Yeah. And it's like a clad dime. It sounded like a clad dime for sure, too. Let me brush it. I'll look for any markings. If there's no markings, I won't bother coming back. But, um, yeah, another one. I think that's like six for me, Lynn. Okay. Very okay. fortunate day. Absolutely. All right, Rich has something here that he said is too green. It's Where? in the bottom of the hole. Oh. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, or so on my machine. Oh, I see it way down there. Yep. Let's see, Rich. Could that be a large scent? It looks thick. It does. I think that's going to be a coin. Looks small for a large scent, though. It's not a button. I don't feel anything. Maybe you get a second away a dollar. I got one earlier. All right, there's Rich's coin, and only with the Peron are we able to see it because it throws that shadow up right there. This is the backside. You can see Britannia. You can see her head at 12 o'clock and her left arm up in a 90 degree angle. You can kind of see some of the shield in her foot. Not a whole lot more, but definitely enough to make her out. And this side, when we flip it right there, you can see some of the bust. I'm pretty sure that it's a Vermont State Copper because I could see a couple of feathers up the top of his hair, part of like an olive branch kind of leaves. You'd much rather have this than a King George. Yeah. Hopefully you can get more meat off this later. But what an incredible state copper and one of the rarer ones, at least for us to find. You know, yeah, you don't find very many Vermont state coppers, but that's amazing. It's a shame that there's not a ton of detail, but just enough where we were able to make it out. What an incredible find, Rich. Thank you. That is definitely worth it. Can I even see it out here? Maybe. The light definitely helped, but slightly. Yeah. Incredible coin. That's that's just nuts. Thank awesome you. job, man. Way to go. Well, there it is, guys. I told you we found more cool stuff. Old coins, old buttons, old buckles, old shoe buckles. You never know what you're gonna find when you do a house site. Even in your area, there's gotta be a hundred year old houses around. You're gonna find silver coins. You're gonna find Victoria era jewelry. You're gonna find some amazing things. That's one of the beauties of doing old houses in this hobby. You never know what's gonna come out of the ground. And of course, if you need any equipment at all, a metal detector, a pinpointer, a shovel, a sand scoop, just shoot me an email, quarterhoarderyahoo.com. Let me know where you live, what your budget is, what kind of terrain you're gonna be hunting, heck, maybe what you're hoping to find, and I'll help recommend the best machine for your budget so you can get out and find some of the incredible treasures like we do every single week. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. It's a hobby of champions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one. Later.